Um, all right, guys, welcome. Uh, session one, AI Unleashed. Uh, we're going to do another one. KD is going to be uh, in Disney World next week, so I'm going to be flying solo next week. And then we're going to be kind of kicking this into gear every other week. Um, you know, what we're trying to do is, you know, we've been doing a lot of like the basics, right? And a lot of you are members of like the Prompt Pro community and some of the other things that we're doing already. So you've, you know, kind of been around for, for this stuff already. Um, if you're new and you're joining us on LinkedIn, uh, we'll drop some links there as well, too. Um, and, you know, make sure to join us we, on Zoom as well. Just uh, we can then send you out the recordings. Um, we're doing some email list stuff. So just a lot of really cool stuff that we're doing around AI. And now what we want to do is just continue to stay on top of it and continue to give you all, you know, the best of the best things that we're seeing in the market, both philosophical and tactical. And, you know, to me, that's the most important, you know, piece of this. So, all right, we got Chad here logging on from Madison, Wisconsin. Is that, is that well, you're from, you're from Wisconsin. Yeah. So, Jake, real quick, can you still hear me and see me? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I see that. Okay, I see I can, that I'm frozen here. I can hear you, but you are you are frozen in the deep. No, but that that's actually, I'm a ventriloquist. You didn't know that. Like, I actually am, I'm actually <laughs> talking right Skills on top of skills, baby. Let me go here, man. We'll just, we'll simplify this. Let me, I'll just go with the other camera. Uh, maybe my camera ran out. I don't know, man. Let's, let's go. We'll go FaceTime here. Yeah, there we go. There he is. All right. Because like back. you also like you. It was like a good thinking pose. Yeah, it too. wasn't bad. Like usually no. it's like this. It's like this. And then people screenshot it. I've got a couple yeah. of memes on my team of places like when I've like frozen and they screenshot it, it becomes a Slack emoji. So we got different like <laughs> Slack emojis for now. for freeze faces. So yeah. I love it. And and also, hey, you know, again, like I love like uh, Chad's comment in here, like using AI chat GBT all day. Um, you know, <clears throat> we're really looking forward to um, talking you through what we got. So this format's going to be a little different, right? Uh, we're going to feature people. So we're going to start to have some guests in the new year. Um, other people that are talking about AI, doing interesting things uh, in the revenue org. Um, uh, not only that, we'll give tips, right? So have tactical tips. And a lot of this is going to be like screen sharing and just kind of like talking through things to do, right? And applications that you, that probably most of you have never thought of for this tool. You know, it's obvious this is a topic that's top of mind. I know, Katie, I put like that enterprise prompt out there on Monday. Oh my like, God, dude. I'm like, what the, God, they're just a prompt people. Like just, but it got like a hundred thousand views or something on LinkedIn, but they're uh, hungry, you man. never they're know. Hungry. It just goes like on LinkedIn content and you can, you, I know you know this, you, I have no idea what's ever going to do well. Like, like I have like an inkling. I'm like, oh, this is good. But mm -hmm. like, you never know. You never know never, what's going to do. Like, really, really never good. know. And like, it's never the ones. Like, every once in a while, I write no. something like, "Yep, yeah, this is going to be a banger. This, this is going to be a banger." And then it's like nothing. And then it's like Great. I stubbed my toe today. Wow, you're like, oh my god. Like, come on, y'all. But no, it was tactical. I think it's a good segue for this. Is it was tactical. Yeah. People could take it and make it their own right out the gate. That's that's powerful. And that's what everyone's here for to, to see and use. Yeah. All right. So the first thing I want, let's talk about creating multimedia assets for outbound. Okay. This is one that most of you are like, okay, like that's not where I thought we were going to go next with this. Um, but for those of you who, who aren't aware now in terms of like, if you have the paid version and all of you should buy now. Okay. Like if you don't have chat gpt4 that has dolly it has browsing built in i don't know what you're doing right now like just go sign up for it um there's some other really cool plugins too uh, that you can add in there so this one i thought was pretty cool our team put this together right so how many of you can relate to this right here i'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste it in here for you all right so you can see my screen everyone boom all right I want to share um, important news about the EV market with a potential prospect. However, I think a little visual will help. Can you take the information from this article uh, and create two charts that show the number of slow and fast chargers? So again, like let's say I work for ChargePoint. I'm like, hey, well, I want to get a meeting with this you know, um, property management company, right? The, the, the ability here to say, okay, how can I... Because we've talked a lot about how to do personalization with text and to the persona, to an industry... Um, to a location, but not a lot about images. Mm. KD, I feel like we we haven't really talked. Yeah. You know, it, I like dropped it. It was I think our second session. 
that I think I dropped it at like the end for people that were live. It was like a tidbit of like to be able to create custom images for your emails, custom images for like your comments and social posts based off your persona and who are you going after. So it was like a little snippet that we gave at the end of a session of like, if you really want to go next level, creating thumbnails for your videos that are custom to the company with their logo and everything like there's, it shows at a whole different level and it's not something really anyone else is doing unless they're taking a whole bunch of time to do it custom, right? Like using Canva and things of that nature. And so, um, yeah, so I think this is really just something to be done. It's a little bit slow on my end too, Jake, right now. So I don't know. Yeah, I just got yeah, it. Do, it do, it, just so you guys know, it does this sometimes. Yeah. Again, like it, the tool is certainly not perfect. I already have it. So I'll just show you guys what it did. Um, let me see which one was it. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see here. So and some of this stuff, just so you all know, I mean, look, we're doing this live, so it is what it is. Sometimes you just have to just do it again. Like, that's all you got to do. It's just like, just do it again. And then I find mm-hmm. sometimes it like figures yeah. it out. But just, so you know, like, they, yeah, and I think I have the output here. Actually, I can just show you all what the output would be where our team pulled it over. Um, so this is what the output is, just so you all know, is it basically it will give you literally the output of like what that is. So our team ran this on the back end. So again, just imagine like, okay, I'm trying to book a meeting. I'm trying to add insights. You could apply this to anything. You know, you saw a blog post about, um, you know, that there, that that company's blog put out about reps hitting quota or I don't know, insert use case, right? Just imagine how you can use images. Do not, this is such a cool use case. And, and candidly, it was a little more hard. It was harder when it was like all not integrated maybe as well too. But now that it's integrated, it's kind of like no brainer. Um, so multimedia assets, I'm a fan. I mean, I'm just a really, really big fan of this. And I think a lot of people will um, uh, get a lot of value out of it. Uh, that's the next one here. I'll, I'll start it out super quick. Y'all think about jump your demos in, as well. In. Yeah, man. Creating it's... custom slides for your demos with those types of images, right? Like it's that type of stuff that you can now do to really show the prospect you understand their world. I love that. Yeah, I mean, that's that's actually, I mean, that's a pillar one. There's a whole bunch of applications there. And again, where you can, there's one called, um, what is it called? Slides AI, sli- slides.ai. Mm-hmm. There might be a plugin for it now too. Um, where you can feed it just a whole bunch of information and then it will put together like a V1 for you. This is the future, folks. Like the stuff that we're talking about now, we are entering a world in 2024 is the beginning of the world where there will be people who attend and listen to me and KD and the stuff that we're doing and talking about and are putting together the most ridiculously amazing customized proposals in an hour. And then there will be the other world of the people that don't do this. And it takes them five hours to do the exact same one. It's not that you don't still have to work. So just to be very clear, like guys, you still have to work, right? But now I can spend all my time um, really making it amazing. And that's that's the the part that gets me excited. Um, Next multimedia asset, let's talk about video scripts. Does your team use videos right now? So right now, a a little bit. We don't do too much where we are now. We are starting at Patient Pop. We broke the record for video. So Patient Pop, we sent out over 130,000 videos across my org across a year and a half going into healthcare (laughs) before anyone says like you can't do it in healthcare outbound. We crushed video. So I this is it, something dude. that has always, always been a big part of I my just, my orgs. So I'm I'm ready for this one. This I one's just can't one believe I, I, video is one of these things to me. It's just so obvious. It's like guys, everyone is sending emails that are the same and they're templated and they suck. Um, it takes 35 seconds, and now there's no excuse. So anyway, video script here it is. All right. So act as an expert in creating engaging video scripts. So you can imagine, actually, we could turn this even into a custom GPT mm-hmm. where it's like, it's your video script, you know, maker. So, and, and again, I think what's really cool about this is just, you know, Brian on our team, Brian's kind of an unsung hero for a lot of these sessions because Brian does a lot of the work. Brian and Becca are kind of our unsung heroes um, for, for this. So what you do here is like you write a prompt. And again, we'll share this with you guys as well, too. Um, here, I'll drop this link. There's nothing in here that's too crazy. Becca, can you drop this link on LinkedIn too? I'll drop this link for everyone so they can, you know, if they want to go back and uh, reference it. 
there you go. Uh, Chad said um, slides AI and gamma, totally different way of generating decks. Cool. Um, all right. So I enter in all this stuff. Here's what goes into a good script. Here's the type of thing. Here's the person that I'm meeting with. Um, here's the role that they have. Brian uses a lot of this where it's like, hey, here are the things. Who's the person? What's the industry? What's their name? And then LinkedIn info, right? So he does all that. And then what I love about it too is like, even if you don't like the script, it just it'll it like it just knows that like you probably want something more, don't you? Like you just want this little, you know, tidbit. And now, and then we get down to like, yep, here's the company. Great. Here's your script overview and it storyboards it for you, right? And then it goes into the detail, right? So first video, reference a post, whatever it might look like. And then here's the actual script for it. So let's talk about this, Katie. Let's take a look at this one. Yeah. In terms so this of like is, well, how so people often can replicate. When I talk to companies about video, one of the biggest pushbacks is people say, like, well, I don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. right like i do i don't know what to say and so they get you know not like writer's block but like recording block where you're just in front of the camera and then you don't know what you're supposed to say whereas this year we have an opener we're introducing we're connecting and closing and to what jake talked about before you can easily call it program this to use your frame right so like the video framework i teach is kpic here's what i know the yep. problems the impact of that problem call to action and then going through that framework will allow it to do this. And then the next level of this is helping it craft an email that someone would want to watch this video, right? So having these videos as well, I didn't see it in this prompt, but the other maybe was in there is like, and make sure it's less than 90 seconds. Yep. That you get like the short and punchy ones, but like this gives you so many options to just sit and record, sit and record, sit and record, sit and record, get it done and get get on your way. And it gives you again, like what he did in there was he also said, hey, write me three different variations of this based on potential like ways to engage. So maybe there's more of an overview one, right? Um, AI chatbot integration, there's aligning sales strategy with AI. So it's, you know, you can really use it to explore different use cases and then you pick and choose. And then you're like, okay, yeah, this is the one. Yeah, like this is it. And then in the future, you know, you don't have to keep doing this over and over and over again, right? You can just, you know, go to it. It works and it's great. Um, all right. So video, multimedia, start doing it. I'm just telling you right now, like there's just really no excuse to not do it. It's just so easy um, in terms of being able to produce really high quality um, details there. Uh, if you're trying to stand out still with just text emails, like it, it, like quite literally, funny enough, y'all, we say this, you say, it looks like everybody else. So stop looking like That's everybody right. else. Have an image that you custom made, have an image combining your companies, have a video that stands out to them. And then you could share that on their LinkedIn, have images consolidating their information. They could even use some of this stuff internally. Hey, I saw this most recent report. I made a chart based off of it. Let me know if you want to use this. Like there's so much you can do with this if you really try to. And just think, I mean, I, what I love about it too, is I was talking to, I was doing a podcast this week and someone was at, you know, what's the future, et cetera. And I was like, this should just allow us to be way more creative. You know, like the, mm -hmm. the skill set going forward is creativity. And like, that's so much, that's such a better skill set than like doing this all day and not thinking about who I'm trying to book a meeting with. That, that was my point. I said, we've gotten away from the concept that I am trying to book a meeting with this person at this company, as opposed right. to, I'm just trying to get coverage. And I, you know, I, you know, I, I think back to when I was a frontline rep and I had a book, I got, you know, 400 or whatever accounts that I, I you know, th that was my book. That's all you got. That's all I got. Mm -hmm. And so, man, I, it's like, I'm trying to get a meeting with Kevin Dorsey. I'm not trying to do activity for activity's sake. Like I am being compensated to book a meeting with Kevin. That is what I a job. That is what I'm being paid to do. And I think that's part of this too, is like, you have to kind of believe some of that. If you, if you want to put in this extra effort, it's not even extra effort. I, I would call it required effort to actually hit your number today. Um, let's go into a couple plays now. So segment one, a couple cool new use cases for you. I hope it's helpful. Go run with it. Share with us, like, what's the coolest thing that you're using from a, 
you know, uh, an, an image. Tell us the coolest image you created. You know, I, I don't think I ever told this. Matt on my team, Matt, Matt's been with me for like nine years. He didn't tell me this until literally like three months ago. He started an AI Instagram, our, our Instagram page and started selling Instagram. Like he used to then go into like subreddits and sell them and then get trashed by people who are real artists. Like there's just crazy stuff happening with the image stuff. What I, what I want to reinforce here is this makes it easier to be creative. Like being creative is hard. Like it's, I'm not an artist. I can't make an infographic. I'm not going to be like, but now I can. And that's mm -hmm. the beauty of all this. Yeah, that's, that's it. That, and even the, some of this stuff, it's like, you know, some of these, I don't have 55 years of project management skills or whatever it might be. So let it help you to be more creative. Um, so speaking of creative, um, this one is dope, meaning yeah. this is the one that I think anybody who, uh, and that's why I'm just going to lead with it, which is like, you're trying to book a meeting with somebody, right? And this is where it can get just really powerful, right? I'm trying to book a meeting with Okta, their engineering group focused on machine learning. I work at this company that sells into those, um, on priorities Okta is talking about what are the top two to three value props. And then I took it a step further. And I said, actually, let me be more specific. Here's their press release page. Based on their press, by the way, this whole thing, this copy and paste pulling up probably took 1.5 minutes. It's my, my best guess when I did this. Um, and check out what pulls up here, man. So again, I, here's what I do. You don't even have to you tell it. You just drop the link to the product page. Mm -hmm. And then you drop a link to a press release. And it's like, oh, okay. Yep, this could be, and it, again, this could be relevant commit cutting edge solutions. And then I, and this is where I think the human comes in KD is like too many people are trying to use generative AI to do the whole email writing for them. Yeah. And, and I don't think that's the right approach, man. I just don't yeah. think it's very good. Like I just, we just haven't got it to work the way we want it to. Yeah. And it's because unfortunately a lot of I'll say sellers and people building it don't know how to write a good email. So they can't even give it the coaching or training needed to do it. If you have good email writing frameworks, you can get really close. But what, what I love this the most is I'd like to take this and do the connecting the dots, right? So we could even do this now of like, because you put in what company we are in this, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Right? So if we were to say, okay, I really like number four. Could you help me connect the dots to my product with three to four talking points that would at least get a conversation going? That's that's the juice I need for the email is it's where I think oftentimes in sales and even you know, as sellers, we actually don't do a good job of connecting the dots. You find this research, we don't connect the dots to anything, right? So if you say, I, you know, based on number four and based on, you know, what we sell, could you come up with three to four talking points that connect the dots between this point and scaled consulting, right? Or this point and this Jake is like Dunlap. W and B, right? Give me yeah. one point to connect this to, let's go grab their website again. I'm trying to so tell this I, I, this should come up with something pretty good yeah, to help me write a better email. There we go. Perfect. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, this this is the stuff, y'all. Look look at the dude. What ah. I love is look at the verbiage here, dude. Enhanced security and ML model de development and deployment. We can complement your device access by providing an addition. Guys, why can't I just don't understand why we can't personalize fucking emails today? This takes five Look seconds. This, Look at this. Okay. <laughs> like this, it's the connecting the oh dots Look at this. And so now I could say now using the KPIC format and the most recent trends in writing good emails from Lavender, please write me seven emails that are under 150 characters that do a good job of encapsulating. Like, ah, oh, man, this, well, this fires me up. This is just so, it's just so easy to see how you could do this. What we've been doing, KD, we've been taking it like a different approach with some of our clients where, you know, we've got some email, we'll call it like structures mm -hmm. that we know that work. And, you know, like one of them is, um, uh, I I'll tell you this and I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll give you guys the, the good stuff here. One of the best structures we found for converting right now is like, hey, I've talked to two other people in the complimentary department at 
they said that you are the one who handles ML model development. Based on that, here's, you know, so I work with other VPs of engineering who are focused on ML model development, right? So you basically create the template and then you just copy and paste in the snippet. And mm -hmm. what we, we've just had a lot, it's just even by using some of that KD, we've just had it struggle to write emails that weren't, I just, chat GPT is just, it, 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 it's really struggles to be direct. Like it mm -hmm. can be like direct-ish, but it's a lot of times it's like very still, you know, dear. Like I can't get it to stop saying freaking dear. I'm like, stop saying dear, you know, yeah. stop like. What, what people I think, you know, you're you're blessed to have this i'm blessed to have this is that they don't actually have the frameworks or the examples to give it right what good looks like so i think one of the things that maybe i do a little bit differently or i don't want like i always hesitate to say better because i don't know what people are doing but like i almost always give it examples of what good looks like here are five or six emails that i know to be high performing that follow the frameworks i'm looking for here's some best practices i'd like you to review and now, based off that, write me an email that sounds like what I just gave you. It's things like that that tend to, I found it to get it to write faster that way. And so, mm -hmm. but y'all, like this, this is the stuff where you think about connecting the dots. It, no one would have written this out. And it took, oh, I don't know. God. It would have taken me like, this. it would have taken me how long right. to do the research, to think. I'd say 45 minutes, maybe 30, yeah. 30 minutes, 45 minutes to, to do this. Maybe if I worked at the company for long enough, I could move faster, maybe 20 and, but certainly not one and a half minutes, you know, as a part of this. Um, and yes, we have built some custom, somebody asked a question about custom GPTs. We have developed some of those over here. Mm -hmm. um, so DM me or KD. Um, the thing about these custom GPTs, we've got some other like more advanced custom GPTs that we're working on. We'll have a lot more to talk about that in the next, you know, few weeks. So get ready for that. Um, the other one I was going to show everyone is this, um, just this email sequence one. Yeah, and then I think we move on to kind of the next, you know, goal. The goal of this is, you know, give you guys every week a couple of new plays to run, things you can go and try. Uh, we've got some like tips of the week coming up and then what's next. So we'll wrap up here in the next probably five, 10 minutes, everyone. Um, so here you go. So this is one that, again, um, it's not the best at some of this stuff. But what I, what I found is like, again, going back to, you mentioned it, it's inspiration, right? So I'm saying, okay, draft a 10 part email sequence that naturally flows from one to another. The sequence will consist of seven emails, three LinkedIn touch points, but not necessarily in that order. The sequence will focus on three main product points outlined below, right? You all just, um, you know, what do you call it? Again, avoid pleasantries, all of this. I'll drop this one in there for everyone too, so they can take a look. Here's the different pain points. Again, you saw, guys, we, you could just put LinkedIn. Well, you could just put links in there. You don't even need to do the pain points necessarily if you don't want to. And then it gets you started. You know, it gets mm -hmm. you started um, as a part of this. So it's just, again, of like, okay, here's a good example of one. Here's a good example of another one. Yeah, I like I like this. Like, these, these are ones where it's just all this is to get you 80% of the way in 60 seconds. And then we can finish the 20%, right? But we have 80% of the way done. So then we can actually do the fine tuning. But then what I'll recommend to everyone is once you've fine tuned it, send it back. Yes, Here's exactly. what I did with what yep. you gave me. Please use this as a reference in the future. Here are the, what I see people do too often is whether it's with scripting or with emails or personas is they take it and then they make their human changes and then never feed it back in. Yeah, they're like done, done. Feed it back in so that the next time you do it, it it it, it picks up on like okay, what changed here, right? Like it just that way you can come back to that same channel, or if you're doing this in like a custom GPT bot, then it learns yeah. how you like to do things. Yeah, it's funny that so you can see you even told it to be succinct and avoid pleasantries. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, it just it can't help itself. It can't. Well, it's theory. actually funny. What I've actually found with some of this, dude, is like, what what does it mean? Don't use pleasantries. It <laughs> yeah, wasn't even me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Like, I'm, I'm. You know my style. And this is why you and I, I think get along, girls. We're very direct. Yeah. So I don't say things like don't use pleasantries. I say, yeah. Don't say dear, love, or hun, or anything in that realm. Like, I'm way more like, what is it? I actually don't want it to do. I just tell it and then i say please because yeah. i'm still polite to my my gb i like yeah you got to say please 
Yeah. Um, okay. Hey, um, what somebody asked on LinkedIn, Kevin, can, what what was K pick again? Can you, can you um, say what what was the acronym? Yep. Yeah, so I use this for um, emails and for video. No. So what do I know about you? So here's what I know about you. Like, hey, Jake, I know you just yep. released your earnings report. Problem. Like one of the things a lot of companies are struggling with right now is although they're trying to go hybrid, they don't have a seamless way to integrate problem impact, which means you have a lot of teams working on X, Y, Z, bogging things down, connect the dots. We might be able to do this. We've done it for X, Y, Z companies called action. Are you seeing this too? Would you be open to a conversation? Watch this video. So K pick is the exactly. framework. No problem impact. Connect the dots, call to action. Yep. I love that. Yeah. I mean, it's so interesting. Like that's, it's really similar to us. It's, you know, it's, again, it's, you should care about your buyer and the industry they're in. And so if you don't, if you can't, put, if, if, if they can't quickly look at an email and go, this guy gets it. Gets it. Yeah. It, you're done. And, and that it, it's not that hard to get it. And we're just literally, I pulled back up this Okta example. Like if you, you sent, I mean, you are in the point. 1% of people sending outbound emails right now, if you literally just copied and pasted this into like, you know, the K pick, you know, methodology, like you're in the top 0.2%. Like that's my best guess. Yep. Um, I, I so we got more plays for you. We don't have all the time to show them. Um, don't worry, Becca, Brian, we will use these in future episodes. There's some good ones. Um, but tip of the week this week is how to get chat GPT to read a graph or complicated report. All right. So let me show you what I mean by that here. We already did that one. Let me pull up my Tesla one. Here you go. Okay, so what I did here is I down, this is a download. Um, let me see, if I, can I zoom in on this? Yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. Let's see, check it out right there. Um, this is basically Tesla's earnings. And what I did is I basically downloaded it. So I downloaded the earnings, this part of it. So you can see it's got quarterly. Well, you can probably can't see it because it's really small. Um, and I, all I said is I said, help me pull out trends from this. I mean, I could not have written a worse prompt than help me pull out trends from this. <laughs> so imagine, imagine this world we live in now. I, I swear, like I remember and to, I, my, my director of sales, and I used to do this for my team. I would train people how to read an annual report. And I was very fortunate. I worked at a company that was really good at like putting together executive business cases, et cetera. Um, so you can literally just grab a random piece of data point from any of your customers. This is Tesla's Q3 2023 report, by the way. Um, and just say, pull out some trends. And again, you could be more specific. Okay. Um, all right. Automated sales increased, but have seen a decline. Right. So, And not only that, it said revenues. What are some trends in revenues? Looks like leasing is relatively stable. Right. Um you know, and then you could take it, and again, it kind of talks to some of this. And I could just say, you know, can you put one in here for me, real quick? Yeah, let's could do you it. Explain this to me like I'm five. Explain this to me like a five year old, and also only highlight the top seven points above that executives would care about the most. This is another one I like to do is yeah. I'd say, okay, great. There's a lot in here. Thank you. Thank you, ChatGPT, for your abundance of knowledge. Now, um, tell me what it would be. <laughs> now, this this one might've went too far. This, this one went one, too far. Normally it doesn't. This one, normally doesn't. This one went full, yeah. full yeah, five-year-old. Yeah, oh, like yeah. a five-year-old analogy. <laughs> Normally, it just simplifies the language. It doesn't yeah. say, it doesn't change selling lemonade from Tesla like or money. Jar. You can't have any cookies you have. It's like, <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, Love the it. boss is at the big, let's see what it is. <laughs> at the big companies. Like how like much, how much they money make. they make from selling things. There you go. <laughs> All right. Well, that one was a miss. Normally, a few just more simplifies cookies for their hard work, just <laughs> like you with your lemonade stand. Yeah. Okay, that was too far. Be specific to the data set. And again, the cool part is like it knows. It's like it just knows what I mean by that, right? Like you don't have to just, you know, again, I could write a better prompt 100%. Like mm -hmm. if I was like doing this, I would, I would spend more time on this and we probably wouldn't do that.
All right, it's it's stuck now on this thing. So just yeah, so you know, actually, this I'm is a good it. point for everyone to call out. Just so you like, Chat GPT, as you start to use the same thread over and over again, and look, if you're following our content, you probably know this already, but I'm just going to say it. it. If you start to get off track, it's really hard to get it back on track mm -hmm. because it's like, you know, each one of these, it's like a little, the smartest little baby brain on the planet. And the little baby brain's like, okay, you taught me this. And now it's this. And now I'm learning this. And that, and it's kind of going down this hole now, right? It's very, it's, it's almost impossible, nearly impossible to rein it back in. And so my advice is when this starts to happen, start a new thread, start mm -hmm. a new thread, copy and paste in what you did from before. And then, you know, if it can't get back on track, then don't, don't stress it. Yeah. Sorry for breaking you know? your chair. Yeah. So don't. Uh, uh, yeah, you can just go back and rewrite the prompt that sent it off track. Yeah, exactly. The key, but, but just understand though, even though you rewrite the prompt, it, if you did rewrite the prompt in this thread, you have to keep in mind, it's still thinking of the other things that you told it. So it doesn't all of a sudden forget everything. I mean, I, I guess you could say forget whatever it is. I don't know if it would though. I don't know if it knows how to like truly forget those things. Um, I don't know if you have anything there. But yeah, I no, think I, I, I would mean, just go I start just, a new one. I would start a new one. Yeah, I would just, just start a new default, one. That's my yeah. advice there. But that's what's up. So anyway, that's our tip of the week here is, again, how to use chat GPT to read a graph or complicated reports. Like so much freaking easier, so much better, right? Um, and then kind of bringing this home, right? So at first we did this like, you know, this charging points graph here. So now imagine this. I sell software that helps hotels with EV chargers figure out how to promote their properties and track ROI after installation. Um, here we go. Actually, let me just, I think we, I think it's not, it's not too far off track. And just for time's sake, we could try this, right? Um, actually here, I'm going to say, I'm going to stop it. I'm going to say, um, I saw software that is use insights from this report as well. Um, and let's use that. Uh, that report that we had, the other one, copy link. So we can kind of combine those ideas, right? So you got an idea, you've got this chart you want to create. You could do that with the data point. You could um, upload a table and suck the data out. And then I could kind of bring this together if I wanted to, right? And again, I sell software that helps hotels with EV chargers. My friends, if you have a page on your website that says that, you can just copy and paste that into. Like, yeah. it's it's just as good. I just, dude, I just noticed that Christmas tree. I don't, I've just been looking at my screen the whole time. But that's a nice touch, man. You know, nice well, touch. Jess, Jess walked in with like an armful of stuff, and I was like, babe, you get one thing. You get one thing. But but what is that? She picked the tree. So there we go. I love it. And also, in case you all don't know, it's about Kevin. This is how Type A Kevin is. Please take a look at his color coordinated bookshelf. I don't know if any of you have noticed this, but he's the only man I know that has it. I'm like, look, man, like these things are just like falling over at this point. Some probably somebody hit it or something. Well, um, last, last year I was just a thought leader, so I had to do like the influencer stuff, man. Right? right? Like that's why I'm an operator cases. again. You know, that's why you have bookcases. I just got more random shit. Um, so okay, so take a look at what this is spitting out, guys. This is. <laughs> Again, it goes back to just like, okay, here's the earning report. Here's some trends. Here's what you sell. Look at this. Look at this. Tesla's report shows increasing revenue sales. It's just a growing market, blah, blah, blah. Ch uh, charging infrastructure expansion. Highlight the rapid expansion of charging infrastructure with significant investments um, in both slow and hotels can capitalize. Again, um, just so you all know, it, it, it will link back here. I'm using Bing right now. Bing will link back. Government support. Matching chargers. And again, to the if you guys remember the the prompt that Kevin had me do toward the beginning, where I could say, hey, using point three, write me a complete video script or message about point three. Um, and that's you know, that's that's the that's the main pieces there. So hopefully, you know, hopefully takeaways, man, I can use images or I could use I could create some videos from this. That would be really cool. Um, you got a couple plays that you can run for research. And then the tip of the day is the, um, you know, how to upload a table for complex data and then bringing all this together, you can run this as well. Yeah, I'll drop this one in there for you all as well. Um, 
<laughs> There's nothing too crazy. About Plays for days, Jake. Plays for days. So we are still just, just you think of one, and there's like 50 others. Um, so next week, without Mr. Dorsey, I'm going to talk about custom GPTs. Um, for a lot of you, you might be like, okay, you lost me there, Jake. Custom GPTs. I'm not one of these tech guys. You know, I don't know how to build cut this stuff. Do not fret. Um, I will be taking you through it. I'll have, you know, Brian should probably join me for this one. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't, I got to make sure Brian can do it because Brian, he loves this stuff. Um, but we're going to talk about, Brian just did a whole three hour workshop. I dropped the link in the chat. Everyone sign up for one of the workshops we're doing. Like the, the value people are getting from these, um, is tremendous. We're going to be doing like a build your own custom GPT workshop in the new year too, to where people can sign up. There's a lot of cool stuff. But um, we're going to talk about three custom GPTs that I would build right now. Uh, we'll talk you through it. I'll give you the basics of what goes into a custom GPT. And then you're going to have some fun time over the holidays, right? You're going to build your custom GPTs. You're going to tell me and Kevin all about it whenever he comes back from Disney World. Um, and that's what we're going to get into next. Kevin, final thoughts for us, ma'am, in terms of what, you know, takeaways from today. My hope truly from today is just to spark the, the ideas of what this can be. Right, like we are just scratching the surface on how you can get creative with this. So that is all. I mean, we showed images today, reading charts today, connecting the dots and emails today. We showed you all that in 40 minutes. Like if you really start to put time into learning this stuff, like you will find opportunities everywhere how to apply it. So definitely do the workshops, like have people come in and help you with this. But the next one, these custom GPTs, I'm bummed I'm going to miss it. Like, this is where it really, really gets fun. But get in there. And if actually, I'll do this too real quick, y'all. If you can see how important the prompts are. Real, I mean, get the prompt guide. Like, buy, like it's, I don't even know what it is. It's like 70 bucks, bucks or something. Like, like 75 just, or 50 just, bucks. Just I can't get, the, at now. get started. Because I think a lot of people stare at a blank slate. And they're like, what do I do? Get all those prompts already so that you know how to step into it and start hitting the, the ground running. So that's that's what I got for people. I love that. And that's it. And again, like we'll we'll give you some instructions on how to do it. And and the, you know, the, the other thing I'll say is that part of this is like a pattern um, interrupt, meaning the next time you something happens in your day-to-day -day and work, instead of doing whatever it is you think you should do, just go to chat GPT and try to flesh it out there first. That that's the other kind of behavior interrupt that all of us need to start to get familiar with is that it it is not smart in most cases, there are some surely, for me to start my thing with a blank piece of paper and that's it. Or a blank Excel sheet. Like we don't again, like we got to do a session. We'll do a session on like chat GPT and Excel integrations and some of the formula stuff. I haven't gotten too deep on that, but I know Brian has. So I think there's a lot of opportunity there. So Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate it, man. Have a great trip with the fam yeah. to, to Disney World. I know you I know you and the girls will have a blast. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Um, I will see you all next week. Maybe I'll get like a Kevin, like like a stick figure, you know, Let's like go. a popsicle oh. stick and like a picture yeah. of him. One of those big heads called or whatever. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Like, send, like send what do they do that part in interruption? Like the yes. ESPN show? Maybe I'll get me a Kevin yeah. one of those. That's actually exactly. not a bad idea. And then you can have a Jake one for whenever I'm not, you know. I, Absolutely. I well, I'll get a solo one too. I'll get a solo <laughs> one. All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all. All right. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you on the next one.